Hello, everybody. Welcome to Fruitful Trees. And I am really, really excited because uh, I always say one of my favorite fruits are my favorite fruit, but I absolutely love, you see that fruit there? That's persimmon. I love persimmons. Persimmons are actually, they're just so sweet. And I just remember traveling in California and just up north in Pennsylvania and getting persimmons. They're a food that grows in, in cold climates uh, and in winter time. They're just an amazing food. And uh, here in the tropics, we get black sapote, which is in the persimmon family. It's very similar uh, in the way it looks other than the color. And there's two types of persimmon. There's soft persimmons and there's astringent persimmons, which are, are uh, hard ones that you can't eat them until they're ripe and they'll just make your mouth taste like chalk. Well, how many of you knew that here in the tropics, we can get persimmons as well? Yes, yes. But there's certain types of persimmons that'll grow in the tropics versus the ones that uh, we normally hear of or know of that grow up north. And when I moved to South Florida and I started growing trees, I wanted a persimmon tree. If I lived uh, anywhere up north, I'd be the persimmon man. I have friends that live in uh, Georgia and it gets really cold there uh, and, and up north in uh, New York and Pennsylvania. If I lived there, that is what I would plant the most of is persimmons. They do wonderful in the cold weather. They're just great. But here in the tropics, we got to be more selective of what we, uh, what we pick sometimes. And uh, here is a persimmon. And there's two types of persimmon. And this is what this video is about. I have three persimmon trees here. And for years, they don't do much. Uh, but then I hear they explode. And that's what's happening here with this one. And the great thing about this uh, is it's just, it's a, it's a smallest tree. It doesn't grow really tall which is another great thing. And I was just at Laura Farms recently and I had uh, persimmon trees that were 20 years old, maybe 15 years old, and they, and they were relatively short, but they were loaded with persimmons. And he says every year they're loaded with persimmons. It's just wonderful. So I planted three trees and I had initially, when I moved into this property, I had a coconut tree right here. My whole front yard was filled with coconut trees. But slowly but surely, for several different reasons, I started taking out the coconut trees. And I needed something in this spot. This was the first coconut tree I took out. And I put a persimmon tree here. And most, even though it's orange and it's quite attractive, uh, it might pique the curiosity of some people walking by the house because I live in a place where I have to consider what I put up front. I'm not going to put up mangoes up front because I know people will take them. There are some other things like sapodilla that I put up front because most people either can't see them because they're brown or a lot of people don't know what they are. And even if they do, they have to be picked at a certain stage. And so I'm probably the first one that's going to be able to get to that stage. But persimmons, they're orange, so they look like, well, what's that? But most people don't know what a persimmon is. And these, if you eat them unripe, you're not going to want to try them a second time. So I would say they're a good food for that reason to plant up front, but for the Bad reason is uh, in the winter, they lose all their leaves. I'm sorry, in, in the su summertime, they lose all their leaves. They're not attractive trees at all. <laughs> but regardless, I planted this persimmon here. I have another persimmon in the front, and then I have one in the back. And here's the thing, and this is why I want to make this video. Uh, there is a very well-known well persimmon that grows here in the tropics, and it's this kind, and it's called a triumphed persimmon. And that's the kind you want to grow here if you're in South Florida. That's the kind that Laura Farms has. And I'm going to show you a clip here in a few moments about uh, when I went to visit him recently with all the persimmons he has growing on his 20-year-old trying persimmon trees. And I asked him in the video, I said, uh, what about South Florida persimmon? Because when I moved into this house, the fellow that helped me get the trees gave me something called a South Florida persimmon. I didn't know if it was the same as a trying persimmon or not. I didn't know if they were different or the same. So I asked Laura Fonzo when I was there recently, and he said he didn't know either. This is the only one he's heard of that grows down here. So uh, in my video, one of my subscribers uh, contacted me, and they said that there is a difference between the Triumph persimmon and the South Florida persimmon. They said the South Florida persimmon used to be known as something called the Hudson persimmon, and they're very similar in the way they look. But there are a few uh, distinctions in them in the way they grow and their production. They're both supposed to be excellent, excellent 
uh, growers uh, and uh, taste wise, they taste similar, uh, they look similar, but they are in fact two different. And uh, the differences, uh, as slight as they might be, I, I don't know. I don't know exactly, but, and even how to tell a difference. And I looked online and some people said that that's just not true. It's the same thing. But I looked online and others said, yes, in fact, it is a different persimmon. Well, we know it grows here, so that's the good thing. And that's one of my trees. And this is a tree is my best tree doing really well right now. I do have it on an irrigation drip. And right now, I've already tried two, excited to eat them, and they weren't ready yet. My mouth would taste like chalk. Uh, but this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight on here now. Now, my neighbor has one as well, and we'll go take a look at my neighbor's yard and see what he has uh, with this. But this uh, tree right now is, uh, oh, how old would it be? I'd say the tree's at least four years old. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe four or five years old. And it's up to here on me. I haven't cut it back at all. And it's growing in a nice spot. So the thing with this is it's, it'll, it's supposed to stay short and it'll be loaded with persimmons every year. Now, this spot that I picked, you know, I'm becoming more wise about the spots I picked. It's very close here to my uh, star apple tree. So I'll have to keep that star apple tree cut back. It's already started to grow over the persimmon. But star apple trees, even though they grow really big, they don't have to grow really big. So I can keep them on the smaller side if I if, if I decide to, and I have a lot of room on that side for it to grow, so I'm not going to have an issue here with the persimmon tree. And other than that, it's right on the border of my neighbor's yard and my yard. And, uh, like, literally right on the... Well, no, it's more in my yard, so eventually that'd be a good thing uh, if there's any issues down the line. But, yeah, it's a great tree to have, especially if you don't have a lot of space. Uh, it's a good, nice, short tree to have. So let me show you my other two persimmon trees, and then I'm going to show you the clip by that I took recently at Laura Farms, and then I'm going to go to my neighbor's yard, and we'll check on his persimmon tree and see how it's doing. And I'm excited because finally we're getting persimmons. So here's my other persimmon tree uh, right here, and this one is right behind me here is much taller. This is interesting. That's a triumph persimmon. This one is a South Florida persimmon and the one I have in the back of the South Florida persimmon. So that's very interesting uh, that it's like this. I'm thinking now, I'm recalling, I might have lost another persimmon that I, that I, that I had. But this one is a, a South Florida persimmon. So now I'm thinking maybe there are differences because it's growing different. It's growing straight up where that one's staying short and bushy. I don't have any persimmons on here. I had one or two last year. This one is about the same age as that one, but as you can see, it's much taller. It's much taller. So now I'm thinking maybe there is a difference. So this one's supposed to be a South Florida persimmon, and we'll look more into the difference. If any of my viewers know this, let me know. But the thing is, there's so much uh, confusion online about this or disagreement online about it. Some say yes, some say no, uh, but this one is, Definitely that growing habit is different and I don't have persimmons on this yet. Another interesting thing about this is I had uh, some persimmons on here last year and I guess it dropped some seeds or, or what might be. And my neighbor's tree noticed this also. The, the tree fell on the ground, the, the seeds fell on the ground. And this is usual with trees in general, but uh, other trees grew there. So now this is like three persimmon trees in one little area growing, it looks like. And they're well rooted. They're not able to be dug up. Perhaps maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I will try to dig one up. That's very interesting. And something I just thought of. Maybe I'll just try to dig one of these up and see. I don't want to mess with the roots of the other ones. But let's go in the back and see the, the tree back here and see how that one is. All righty. So let's go and see the other persimmon and see how it's doing. So this is another South Florida persimmon. And you see there's one on there right there. Okay, oh, there's two, there's several on there. 
Uh, it's in a much tighter spot. It's really close to my, uh, to the avocado tree here, and it's close to the orange sherbet tree in the back there. Way too close. And then it's a little close to the mame here. So this one's in a really tight spot, uh, but it's doing well. And uh, this, again, is a South Florida persimmon. Now, I got to look at the leaves on these. This is the leaves on this one. I want to see how different they look. Well, no, let's see. That's, yeah. So I got to check and see the leaves, if they look any different. So these are big leaves here. Oh, there's a bunch here. So this uh, this area doesn't get as much sun. So I have to see too uh, if they like the, the cooler weather better or not. And here's uh, the label. South Florida persimmon. Now I know the label on the one in the front is triumph persimmon. So they are different. So I'm going to show you a clip here from Laura Farms and, and the persimmons I saw on his farm. And then we'll go and take a look at my neighbors. Yeah, and before we head over there, you know, there's a, a good amount on here. But as you can see, the tree here, the tree trunk, there's no seedling droppings. This is one tree. One tree trunk. And that's, that's by the way, for when I weed whack. I don't want to hit the tree. But there's uh, one trunk, three distinctive ways it's going. So that's a little different there than the one in the front, which is also a South Florida person, but it's growing really nice. So I don't know if this, the growing habits of this looks like it's taller. You know, and uh, definitely gonna have to cut back the trees around it and here's some persimmons they didn't make a lot of fruit this year how old is this tree it's 20 years old and do you cut it back never wow they're very slow growing you can just pick one off and eat it like an apple i've never been sprayed so now should these be soft or hard soft what kind are these the triumph the same as last year so these you have to eat when they're soft. When they're soft. Yeah. Because like fu fuyu, you could eat when they're hard. Oh, yeah. But these you have to eat when they're soft. Right. Fuji, uh, the Fujis, the Fujis um, and the Fuyus, you can eat it crunchy or, or ripe. This one, only when it's ripe or else it will dry up your mouth. And these uh, stay this small. Twenty. How old is this tree? 20 years old. And it's this small. Wow. Now, I have three trees like this. And... They're, they're taller. Yeah, well, the, one over, the ones over there are a little bit taller. Uh -huh. They're all the same age. And what's the season for those? Now? Now, yeah. The fall. Like a little bit before the fall. So, I was waiting for these things to get a little bit better before it's selling them on the website. But, um, I think it's ready to go. Yeah, everybody, get these on the website. These are amazing. Triumph persimmon. Triumph persimmon. That one, that's the one from Israel. All right, so let me show you the. Now, is that the same? That triumph persimmon is that the same as the uh, South Florida? Persimmon? Good question. I have no idea. Okay, um, I can I can definitely see somebody flipping the name as Florida persimmon because I mean, they hey, you well got persimmons here. in Miami. That's amazing. So everybody, persimmons are about to. Uh, be on his website because these are ready. Yeah, I'm thirsty. These are ready. <laughs> and look, so the ones on my tree are like this now, and they're hard. You don't want to eat these. They're astringent and they'll make your mouth well watery. And this one could be deceptive. It looks like it's ready right now, but no. This one, look at this one. That's one that's soft and ready right now. It shouldn't crunch, they should be soft. There's some here on the ground, the deep dark purple ones. 
Can I buy it in one of these and show them? Oh, all right. <laughs> all right. These are amazing. Now, can you grow? What other varieties grow out here? None that I know of. Load up the Simmons, which could be a bootleg of this. You can't grow the soft, the big ones here, the high I tried growing the Fuyus, and it was unsuccessful. This was successful right away. Paul. This one. Look at this one. I planted this and threw you, and this will make it through a lot faster. Put them in the basket here. There's no basket here. Oh, that basket? Yeah. Let me get two more here. Now, how do you ship these if you got to pick them soft? I don't pick them soft. So I you pick them ripe. You pick them ripe, and you know when they will sort. Yeah. Yeah. Like, as long as they're orange color. So that one is not orange enough. Let me show people the difference here. Yeah. Well, you could pick it like this. Pick it like this, and let and and, and the astringency will go away, and this will get soft. It'll How long up. will that take? Uh, like days, a couple of days, three days, maybe four. But if you pick it too soon, it won't ripen, right? Well, it can't be green. You have to be well, um, yellowish orange. So all of these can be picked now. Yes. And wait, and, and just wait it, okay? Yeah, I tested it out. I picked a whole bunch of hard ones and let it get ripe in my house and they taste fine. All right, wow. I have three of those trees. Okay, I'm heading to my neighbor's and I'm just passing this one again. And the label just says persimmon. Now it's supposed to be a South Florida persimmon. It just says persimmon. Uh, but I'm looking at those two now, and I just realized, I'm going to move that here, and I just realized I'm going to, when I, when I get a moment, that's the real tree there. Even if these two are good trees, these are, these are seedlings. So I'm probably going to take those out, because I don't know how these do from seed or not. And most fruit doesn't do bear good from seed. So if any of my viewers know, the persimmons do good from seeds or they need to be grafted. And I think they would need to be grafted considering we have different names and some do better down here than not. This tree needs to thrive and I cut away those seedlings, those big tall seedlings. And now I'm thinking they're not that much possibly of a different variety as much as they're just seedlings and they were just getting out of control and they could have maybe they would have turned out great maybe not but I didn't want to wait to find out and mess up the growth habit of this tree right here so we have our tropical persimmon possibly a Hudson we're gonna leave growing here we took out the seedlings Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that clip at Laura Farms of his persimmon trees. And now I'm gonna take a look at my uh, neighbor's tree right here. Okay, so here's my neighbor's tree. Uh, and I believe he has a South Florida persimmon as well, not a triumph. I don't know if they're the same or different, like I'm saying, but maybe it is a triumph. This one's growing, it's definitely, He's had his as long as I've had mine, and it's definitely growing uh, short. It's not big like the other ones I have. So there's no label here, but we definitely see some droppings and some new trees growing as well. So this is my neighbor's persimmon, and he gets persimmons on this every year. And this tree is much shorter than the one I have over there. Or, or much shorter than the one I have in, in the back. So this is something to investigate 
Question number one is Hudson and South, is South Florida and try and persimmon two different persimmons are the same? If so, what are the growing habits of each one? They do both do great here in South Florida. I know that. And then can you, how do they do from seed? So that's his persimmon tree. You plant one persimmon here and you see all those little seedlings around there. So that's his. All right, everybody, as I said when we began, if I lived up north, my name would be Paulie Persimmon. I love persimmons. And uh, just make sure if you're going to eat these persimmons, you're going to eat them when they're, <clears throat> when they're ripe. And you're not going to eat them too soon, so you don't eat like a mouthful of chalk. Because if you eat these, these are more like, you see, it's very interesting because people say these look like Fuyu persimmons. Fuyu persimmons look a lot like these, but those persimmons you can actually eat when they're hard and they're not astringent and they won't make your mouth taste like chalk. Different with these. These are like the, the Hychia persimmons. You need to wait for the, them to soften up before you eat them. You can't eat these hard like an apple. Fuyu persimmons you can. So there's the two types of persimmons, the ones you could eat hard and they're delicious and sweet, or these you gotta wait till they soften. And uh, those are the two different types. So uh, if you're in South Florida and you have a yard, persimmon tree is a definitely a tree you want to get. It's a dwarf tree, very sweet, delicious. And it's also in season here in the wintertime, which uh, not many, uh, uh, as many fruits are as in the summertime. So it's always good to have off-season fruits. All right, everybody, put your comments or questions below about persimmon. Thanks for watching and have a great day and keep growing.